Jarvis, here we are tonight at the Virgin Media Shorts Awards. Yeah. What are you looking forward to? Uh, to get inside, it's cold out here. <laughs> no, I'm only joking. I'm enjoying speaking to you. Uh, yeah, I mean, I've se I have actually seen the film, so uh, there won't be a big, massive surprise there for me. But it'll be good to see them on a big screen. I mean, it's quite amazing to have a, a film competition for kind of most of them, kind of first-time filmmakers, and suddenly you've seen it on the biggest screen in London. That's that's quite a thing, you know. So uh, it'll be good. I hopefully I'll get to meet some of the people who've made the films. You know. You've been in a few films yourself, haven't you? I mean, have you, is it something you've enjoyed I'm a, yourself? A terrible actor, <laughs> honestly, honestly, because I have been I have been asked quite a few times. I suppose because people see you on stage and see you showing off, so they think, oh, yeah, well, he must be an actor. He's confident, but it's a, I think it's a totally different thing. I, my best role, I think, is the one in the Wes Anderson film. Fantastic, yeah, because yeah. I'm a puppet in that, so <laughs> the puppet looks much more natural than I do in front of the camera. Yeah. So you won't be seeing you a lot more times on the big screen then? <laughs> I wouldn't have thought so, no, but you know. What can we look forward to then next for you, Jarvis? Um, well, I might try and make a film of my own, actually. You know, I studied, I studied film. That's what brought me to London in the first place, so maybe. But um, I, I do my radio show on the BBC and stuff like that, and um, I hope to have some things in the pipeline. I've, I've, done it, I've, I've actually done a film. Uh, uh, I put together a film... Uh, of, uh, of stuff from the BFI archive, and that's going to be shown on the TV in the new year. Well, I did it in conjunction with a person who I went to college with called Martin Wallace, who has continued making films, whereas I've been prancing around <laughs> singing. So we got together and, and kind of edited. Uh, it's all stuff about steel production, which sounds very boring, but it is actually quite interesting. And I kind of put together a, a, a soundtrack for it. So we, we performed it at the Crucible Theatre in Sheffield and recorded the soundtrack and now it's been put together and it's going to be on the BBC in, in January. It might even be in the, a couple of cinemas, but it's not going to be, it's not going to be a glitzy premiere like this. <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, I look forward to seeing it. And you mentioned you'd also maybe like to get behind the camera a bit more and do some more filming. Ideal really? projects, what would they be for you? So, I don't know. Um, something really long and serious that nobody would go and see. <laughs> like five hours in black and white. With, only like three words of dialogue every hour. <laughs> so watch this space.